Let's play a game. Close your eyes and think of a fast road. And no racetracks don't count. And nor does the highway. Think of something historical. All right, not that historical, and not even that famous. Let me give you a hint. This is where Ferrari, Maserati, Lamborghini, and many other leaders in global motorsports were born. The Via Emilia. Because made in Italy is not only about good food and designer fashion brands, but also about the most powerful engines in the world. Via Emilia was one of the most important roads in this country much before Felice Bassanti and Eugenio Matteucci invented the internal combustion engine. In fact, its construction started 2,200 years ago on Marco Emilio Lapido's orders to connect Rimini and Piacenza with a road covering 262 kilometers. Where you see asphalt today, there used to be stones on which Roman soldiers would march and carriages would pull oxen transporting goods. And if you really want to impress an archaeologist, here's some treats. Sure, from oxen to a V12 engine, that's no small step, but the historical origins of this road made a strong impact on Motor Valley pioneers, like Enzo Ferrari. He, in fact, decided that just like the oxen pulling a carriage from the front, his engines should also be positioned in front of the driver. Unfortunately, with time, he had to rethink and reconsider that choice. And regarding pioneers, the Drake was not the first local to build sports cars. In 1914, the Maserati brothers opened the company of the same name in Bologna. In 1939, they moved to a location just a few meters from Ferrari, and that same year, they won the Indianapolis 500-mile race. Ten years later, they went back to Bologna, but let's stay in Maranello, because in the 1960s, Enzo Ferrari, maybe unknowingly, generated another Motor Valley legend, the Lamborghini Bull. Just a few words exchanged with Ferruccio Lamborghini, former tractor mechanic and builder, were enough to give life to one of the most beautiful cars in history, the Lamborghini Miura. Maserati, Ferrari and Lamborghini were soon joined by other brands, Ducati, which went from radios to the fastest motorcycles in the world, or Dallara, an Amelia DOC company that builds all the one-seaters of the Indy 500. But since this land is known for its hospitality, it also welcomed and fueled the dreams of Argentinians like Pagani and De Tommaso. Because it doesn't matter where you're from, if speed is in your DNA, Via Emilia is always the place to be. Woo!